This is a show about what we like doing best, singing. I'm Karen Morrow. And I'm Nancy Dussault. And we're going to show you the different ways that voices can sing together. The kind of singing you can do in a lot of different places, like, um, oh, around a campfire, in church, in school. Harmonies you have to practice and learn. <laughs> and harmonies you just kind of make up as you go along. Like this uh, next song, which I bet everybody has sung, oh, at one time or another. Renew old man. 
Once people begin to find the fun in singing together, there's just no telling what they're going to do next. <laughs> If a singer is really lucky, she may get to do some harmonizing as part of her job. And one of those jobs might be in musical comedy. This song is one of the few Broadway duets written especially for two women. And we're going to do it in exactly that manner. Thank you. <laughs> Who to tell my troubles to? Then a sympathetic tear. Who to cheer me when I'm blue? Wipe away each little tear. When there's no
when musical instruments were first invented, they were designed to imitate the sound of the human voice. So whenever a person sings with an instrument, that's a duet too. Here are some songs that pair the human voice with the instruments of our orchestra. Da -da -da -da. Ba -ba. I both began singing in church when we were children. 
And traditionally, that's been a lot of people's introduction to music. Now, the songs may be called spirituals, hymns, carols, or gospel, but the pleasure of that music always remains for anyone who loves to sing. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me. Oh. 
We've really enjoyed singing for you, and we also enjoy singing for and with each other. And that's a way of life we recommend highly. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.